What's up YouTube? So today we're doing the 2008 Acura MDX LED lights. Um, let me show you. So we did an order on Amazon and it comes with a total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, 21 lights. Okay. So um, basically, it's got first row map lights. We got second row map lights, dome light, footwell lights, door lights, license plate lights, trunk cargo light. That's pretty sweet. So first row map lights. I want to say that's those back here. That's what I'm thinking. And then that's the second row because I don't see a... Let me double check because I don't see a third row. Second row. Yeah, second row and first row. Okay, cool. So the dome light would be this one here. Now, I did do... Uh, here, let me see here. I did grab a knife, good old knife, obviously. So the knife, you just kind of grab a little, and there's a little indention right here, like that. So there goes the indention, you get it in the indention, and then you pull out. So it's like you you push you push the knife in, then you, you can pull out. So there goes the little dome light. Um, so we know that our, we know that the dome light is gonna be, we can kind of cheat right there, you see. <laughs> So we know that the dome light is going to be those right there. So it came in a package over here. All right. I got both of them. So let's do one of them. Uh, let's turn off this one here. And so far, it was a good idea. Knives are just, knives are just, knives are really, really helpful. So, let's move on over to the install side of things. Slide that bad boy in there. Oh, she fits just right. All right, I'll set the uh, I'll set the lights in the cup holder. Go ahead and do light number two. These should be kid friendly videos. All right, so we'll put these two in here. And then that's, these two are in there. Whoa, guys! Look at that! Look at that lighting, guys. That is beautiful. I really like this lighting. All right. Where is... So our footwell lights are gonna be down there, so... We do any damage here. Yeah, you see? You see, buddy, old pal? Yeah, bud. Look at that, okay. Oh, there goes our light right there. Oh, so it did come off. Okay guys, so I figured it out. You squeeze this, you squeeze on the outside this, you squeeze here and you squeeze here and then you can pretty much take this out. And let me see if I can recreate this scene here. But you basically, and I used a knife, but you just kind of apply pressure here and it'll just, pop off you know it'll just pop off no 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 uh, you know, i'm using one hand so it's a little difficult but so you grab a nice little boom pop back in yep that was just the angle guys it was just the angle wait let's go look at our prize possession puppy right here let's turn this off what do you say so we don't get burnt so door no wait second row Second row map lights are going to be the ones with the spikes. Second row map lights. First row map lights for that. This second row is going to be the spikes. So that's going to be... Let me get them out. Which are these. It's these right here, guys. So we'll slide right on in. Yep. And then let's use the knife. Which is right here. To take off the rest. All right, and then we'll take out the next one with our good old knife. Oh, we got it. I just didn't want to damage that. It's not what I wanted. Oh, no, I didn't damage anything. I thought I did. Okay. So, insert that. 
slide that in right there and then we're good to go buddy just kind of pop that in place that looks nice don't it that looks just nice oh yeah oh guys we are we are golden y'all let's see what's gonna happen if we open the door all right wait wait i don't know where i'm at oh no oh here we go look at that everybody now one thing that i couldn't get to work is the back row so we're gonna be hopping in the trunk y'all what do you say you join me oh that was easy and yes there is a fuse back here oh look at that it just wasn't plugged in right Let's turn it off, yeah? I don't wanna get electrocuted back here. Zing, that's in. So now, just do one of these numbers here. Give it some love. And, bingo. We got lights back here, guys. All right, guys, so real quick. So, it is very, you gotta definitely do this. You gotta find some time. So there's a one, there's one, there's one, two, here no point. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven screws that you gotta take out. And then once you do, you can finally kind of play with this, but it gets a little tricky right there by where the camera's at. But you got you gotta because the camera's connected really, really well right there, right? And you don't want to break this. So, I got to figure this out, how to take this out. But once you do take... I took the other one out. Once you take it out, um, you disconnect it. And then I'll show you real quick. So, so this piece here disconnects from the actual, you know, plastic here. But what you do is... Okay, yeah, but anywho, that's in. So let me pause the video and get the other one out. It's gonna be tricky. So I did have to bend. There's a plastic right here. This plastic that goes all uh, on the bottom of uh, the, uh, like to protect the lights. And it also ho helps hold the camera, rear uh, the rear view camera. I did have to take the screws off and then I did have to bend. You can see I have like a little bit of a crack right there. So I did crack that a little bit, but um, I got the reverse lights in. Oh look, we got some more back here that we can change. It's gonna be these. Did not realize that. Oh, that's so cool. You can turn it off and on right there. Look at that. Okay, let's leave it off. Let's grab our... Oh yeah. I like the way that came out. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So check this out. We got one of these bad boys. So we'll slide that in here. And then let me... So all you do is you slide it in there. And that's it. scary it's a scary girl over there guys she was screaming and crying that kind of scared the crap out of me hope oh, she's okay all right back to uh business insert that bad boy in there Got it inserted. We will. Go. All right. Miser LEDs now. So there goes the. Oh, 
there goes that piece of plastic for the cover. And then I need one of these bulbs. We can't get these to work because, oh, there we go. I think it was just a light. So this one out, out sideways, always go sideways. And now I see this one here. You just slowly, there you go. And I think you can take this out. No. Oh yeah, you can. You just take that right out, nice. You just kind of squeeze this plat. There's a plastic right here you gotta squeeze and it just, just disconnects. That way you can slide this in for your light. There we go. Once you get that in, pop this all back into place. You can even put your your three little lights back in and then reconnect. Once you reconnect, pop back into place. Done. Not damage anything. There it is. Disconnect first. It's rule number one. Once you disconnect, there you go. You disconnect, and then same thing again. You squeeze back there. You're able to take the light. I always use a knife to take the light out. Just kind of pop it open right here. Right there, out. Pop the light in there. Guys, by the way, I'm using the um, the new Danforce headlamp that I uh, did a video on earlier. It's amazing. I recommend it, especially when it comes to like car things, just car work in general. It's like the best. It's it's a very good investment. There it is. That's the connection. Slide this in there. Comes right off. Then we disconnect that piece. Let's see right there. Yay, guys. What do you say? It's just the, I think it's like this. There we go, yep. There we go, guys. That's a done deal right there. LED working. Get the knife. Pop that out. All right. I'm just gonna finish up this job here. Be back home in no time, right? Yeah. Connect that. All right. That's a done deal on this one. Here we go. Disconnect. Open that end, that back end there. Pull out the light bulb. There we go. Light bulb pulled. Grab your light. And then make sure it works. Connect, pop back in. That's a done deal. But I'm gonna go take you to, to the shop where I'm gonna trust these guys to do it. Then I'm going to also, when I do an oil change, I'm going to be adding the magnetic uh, oil plug so I can catch any type of loose metal that's in the vehicle's engine so that way it does that filter. And then I also got the Permatex white lithium grease for the Tahoe. And I do got to make another video on the Tahoe. That way I'm going to show you guys tomorrow when there's actually light. But I got a lot of videos coming up, guys. Um, and then I also got another surprise for you guys on the 2008 Acura MDX. I'm going to be putting some, the, um, and I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm going to be doing the, the uh, rain, the rain um, guards for that vehicle as well. Thanks, guys, like, comment, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. Um, till then. Peace.